brand new today. And look what you're getting. I mean, get a load of this. These are gorgeous. You're gonna get 16 five ounce of Wolfgang Signature Beef Burgers, plus you're getting the rolls to go along with them, the gourmet rolls. So you get the burgers, you get the rolls. They're each five ounces. Now, a couple things to note. We have them as a smart deal. But more importantly, once you try these, once you get these at home, you're gonna keep wanting them to come to you every now and then. And we have these now for the first time ever, also on auto ship. And you're gonna be able to lock in tonight's sale price, not $119, but under $100, getting all of this that you see, you know, sans the lettuce and tomato, you'll get all of that. So you can choose, do I want single ship or auto ship? But also, this is very interesting. You can say, do I want it to ship right now, or do I want HSN to wait and ship it to a mid-September? And you actually have those options as well. So chef, I have to tell you, I am beyond excited about these. Let's talk about why did you decide to do it and where did you source the beef? <laughs> Well, I really think everybody loves hamburgers. When my kids came home from boarding school, the first thing is they said, Papa, can we have some hamburgers? We couldn't get in Switzerland a good hamburger. We made the hamburgers at home, and they just loved it. So everybody likes hamburgers. <coughs> if you're at Spargo for lunchtime or for dinner time, or at cut our expensive restaurants, we always have a burger on the menu. But this one is domestic Middle Western Black Angus beef. Not only I use the short rib, I use the steel loin, the New York strip loin, and chuck. Form this amazing patty. So now you can have a burger as good as in any of our restaurants. And you know what is great? The way we ground them, they don't shrink. So they stay really in a good shape and really, really taste amazing. I ate burgers the last few days. Now, you're also going to get our brioche buns with it. That's 16 of them, plus 16 hamburgers. You don't have to eat them all at once. You keep them in the freezer. They are all individually packed, so you don't have a problem. Take two out and leave the rest in the freezer. When you want more, you use them. The same thing is with the bread. You know, you can put it in the freezer and take it out when you are ready. So it's so simple. Look at that. I have here my grill pan. And look at that. Beautiful sizzling burgers here. All right, now I can grill some onions in here. I have some onion rings. All I need is my bread, and then we go. Thanks. Maybe we like some cheeseburger. I know my son Alexander loves cheeseburger. If he would know, I'm doing burgers. He probably would be here with his friends already eating our burgers. So you can see how delicious they are. Where are my, where's my bread in here? I don't know where, where Andrew put it, but uh, somewhere it is. I told Andrew, so what we do with our buns is I use a little butter, spread a little butter on them, and then I toast them or put them in my grill pan or put them on the grill. So that way you really get an amazing burger. That's the way we make ours at Spago. I love it. And I mean, think about Spago cut, which is, is no, no, really- No, no, we have a whole tray somewhere. Uh, we've got Spago cut, even his smaller restaurants that he has. I mean, truly, he's not gonna serve anything but the very best beef that you can find. Look at how juicy and good these are. I'm so excited to eat these two because I know, and I've been very blessed to have one meal at Cut in Las Vegas, and it was some of the best food I've ever eaten. And the whole key to it was, you were eating meat, you were eating beef, and it was absolutely out of this world. So chef, cheers to you. I'm gonna try it? Yeah, all right. Oh. We're going to try one. Let me finish this one here, and then we're going to have oh. a little burger festival here. Jeff, that now, is so I good. I keep it simple. You know, it's always simple. It's always better. Put a little salad on here. Okay, let me turn that down now. Okay, a little salad. And then mm. sometimes I even add a little bacon. And then I add my burgers. Now, you cook them the way you like them. Mine is pretty rare, this one, so I cook it maybe a little more for you out there. And then we put a little onions on here. 
Now, a great way to do them too is if you grill the onions a little bit, it gives it even more flavor. Okay. This is so good. <laughs> so you can do that outside on your grill. You can do that anywhere you like. And then here we have our cheeseburgers. Maybe I put a few more onions in here. All right. All right, and now this one, you depend, you, it's all up to you how you like them cooked. If you want them rare, cook them rare. If you like them well done, cook them well done. So you decide. And these Ooh, are, look and, at that. and Chef, somebody, you know what I, I really appreciate, as you mentioned, yeah. these are really big burgers. Yeah, totally, totally. Five ounce patties are amazing. Look how small the tomatoes look on top of that here. It's like crazy. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> mm, All this right, is what delicious. else we're gonna put on naturally? A little mustard. All right. And a little ketchup. I know we put that normally mm -hmm. on the table. The kids add as much or as little as they want. Like I remember Oliver really used to love his plane. Alexander liked everything on it. And voila. Hey chef, let's talk about okay. how important your burgers are to the world because you host some of the most important red carpet events and you serve yeah. little mini burgers. <laughs> exactly, now if you wanna make mini burgers, you can do them with that meat. You know what we do hmm. is we cut that in two or three, okay. or even four, and then you make little balls out of it. Okay, so once you thaw it, just take, use them as like little burger patties. Exactly, so you can make it just like that. Look at that, for the mini burgers. I love that. How many mini burgers do you serve yeah. when you do that big red carpet event? Oh, you know? we serve like uh, probably 1,500 during the Oscars. <laughs> and again, if he's serving beef at a red carpet event, like the event, yeah. we're talking Oscar, you know, kind of thing, he's not going to give bad beef. I mean, you know, that's some of the biggest stars yeah. in the whole wide world he hangs out with, and he's going to give them the very best. And guys, he's done that for us tonight. Please remember, you're getting all of this. This is really exciting because we'll sell burgers here at HSN. We never offer, offer the buns, and these are high quality. I want you to see how beautiful these brioche buns are. You can see they're just absolutely glowing and gorgeous, and they're going to come fresh to your door. These are going to be frozen. You'll have everything available, and we're talking black Angus, a mixture. So you're getting some of the very best beef in the world. Hey, um, Chef, can you walk us through the pictures we're seeing now or the video? Okay, well, you know, this is grass-fed black Angus beef up nice. in the Middle West, in the northern part of the Middle West, and they really do the best beef production. And we use chuck, sirloin, and short ribs to make you the best burger. So this is black Angus cattle, the most famous one. You know, we are very proud of that. We serve from black Angus not only the hamburgers, but we serve the New York steak, fillets, whatever it is. So and you decide. And let me cut one, maybe. Sure. And then we'll see. Mm. <laughs> look, oh, look, look at, at the juices here. That's my rare one here. You know, it's perfectly rare. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. While you're chowing down on that, Chef, we're going to check in with Marion again. So, Marion, what do you think about these brand new beef burgers? I think I'm lucky to have them in my freezer, Suzanne, because after the year we've had, when you go to the store, you have to make plan A, plan B, and plan C to have these individually portioned. And in my freezer, it's that little gift. It's that little bit of Wolfgang when I'm missing him. And even if you're just going to do them in a skillet like this, they're perfect. I love the taste because Wolfgang knows the blends of meat. The best hamburger always has more than one kind of type of beef. And who better to trust than Wolfgang to make it taste just right? The individual five ounce, you know exactly how many calories are in it. It's gonna stay fresh. It's looking so you're not having all that stuff mixed in with the stuff at the grocery store that always tastes a little sketchy. This is perfect. I'm so proud of him for making them. And then the buns, I used to make the brioche buns at the restaurant for his hamburgers. 
And it's not an easy thing to make, but they're so gorgeous, but they also taste amazing because they're a nice eggy and buttery bun. But wouldn't you be proud to serve that? Even if it's just the two of you, it elevates even a simple burger night at home with French fries coming out of the air fryer. I totally agree with you on that for sure. And remember, everything's going to become individually packaged for you. You cook it when you need it. You can put it in the freezer until you need to have them. But this is really shocking. I mean, you're talking about 16 count. You're getting 16 of the five ounce burgers. They do not shrink down to just a little flat burger. They really stay beefy and big. You're getting 16 of the 2.5 ounce uh, rolls to go along with it. I do want to mention you saw Chef working with a cast iron skillet. We've got it in stock tonight. I'm just going to give you some info on it. It's on sale for $42.95. We have black, red, or turquoise. So really, if you're going to make the perfect burger, you pretty much want to do it in cast iron. And this is a fantastic cast iron pan. It's got the weight. It's going to be something that you, you 